156 years ago, the top of a very rich vein of silver was discovered on a small island less than a mile offshore in Lake Superior. This island only rises about eight feet above the water. Alexander Sibley started developing the site a few years later in the year 1870. This is the story of the Silver Islet Mine. To get started, wooden barriers were built around the small island to hold back the lake water and crushed rock was used to increase the island's size. The mine still faced significant water infiltration problems that required water to be pumped out continuously. The mine extended down 365 meters under the surface of the lake and there was a constant threat of flooding. The only light the miners had were candles attached to their mining hats. They say some men decided not to work at this site once they found out what the working conditions were like. One day, the mine's coal delivery did not arrive, and because the pumps that kept the mine from filling with water could not keep running, operations had to stop, and not long after, the mine was reclaimed by Lake Superior. Although it is thought that most of the high-grade silver ore had been recovered before the mine was shut down in 1884, there is speculation that there was still much silver to be recovered under the silver islet. This makes sense because the mine was still operating when it was flooded. How much would silver have to be worth to be able to make a profit mining it, even if you're mining it under a lake? Well, if my calculations are correct, the adjusted price for silver today would be about $124 per ounce when looking at the time period when the mine was in operation. As time goes on, silver will get harder and harder to mine, and at some point, silver will have to return to its fair market value before the really challenging stuff to mine will be tapped, because nobody is going to mine silver under a lake for $28.50 per ounce. The price for silver will have to match the effort involved in recovering it. Let me know in the comments below what you think the price for silver would have to be before a mining company would engage in mining it under a lake. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I wanted to highlight this mine under Lake Superior in video form because I think it's a very striking piece of evidence that silver is undervalued today. With demand for silver in modern technology like electronics and solar panels, I believe it's just a matter of time until we see the price for physical silver return to its fair market value. Thanks for watching, I do appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video.